Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data BI SQL. So in today's video, uh, we will go through the, uh, we'll continue with uh, Amazon part 22 uh, SQL interview questions. Uh, and I have prepared, if you have been uh, watching my videos on my channel, uh, uh, I have prepared around 21 videos as a part of the series. And if those of you who are new, uh, can go and look at those all those 21 videos and this 22nd video in a in a playlist I will put that playlist in the comment section so uh, please have a look in the comment section to look at all the videos right so uh, before I start with today's video right I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos that gives me a lot of encouragement to put up uh, put up the content uh, so let's let's get started with today's video. So I'm going to cover uh, the table that I have covered in previous two videos like part 20 and part 21. So I highly encourage you guys to look at 2021. I think 19 also 19, 20 and 21 uh, 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 for before you look at this video. If you if you want to really understand what data was inserted in taxi underscore rights table. Uh, if not, you can look at this video directly. I'll anyhow put the uh, put the put the insert values and, and create table for taxi underscore right so that way you can practice it uh, on your own right so let's get started so uh, today's video uh, basically the question is uh, so let's look at the taxi underscore rights table first uh, those of you who are not aware about this table and have not looked at my past three videos so uh, this basically uh, you know the table is is about the rights right I mean uh, so there is an ID column, which is like a primary key and then category, uh, which is business category, or personal category, and then purpose, right? Purpose was meeting within business category. Purpose was meeting or customer visit or in personal category. Purpose was dinner or movie or meet friends and things like that. And then for each of the each of the purpose, how many miles were driven? All right. And what was the charge for that particular trip? And what was the trip date or expense date? Right. So it's a typical taxi rides table. Right. I mean, you can relate that to Uber or Lyft or any other taxi ride services. Right. So a pretty straightforward table. Uh, so what the question is display purposes within each categories having the lowest mile driven. So what it is saying display purposes. So this is the purpose column within each category. So how many category we have? business and personal right two categories only have having the lowest mile driven right so lowest mile driven is in miles column also so what it is telling is uh, within each category personal or business give me those purposes right display those purposes where the miles driven are the lowest right so you can see 21.5 30.8 510 right so we need to find out the lowest of the miles driven but just look at the question the per purposes within each category so basically what it is trying to tell you is uh, you know a, you have to basically group by category and purpose right I mean you need to do a division within each category and that too within each category you need to, you need to display a purpose where it is lowest miles driven right so as I have mentioned in my previous videos try and look at the entire question try and frame in your mind what will go in a select clause what will go in a filter what is being asked right I mean usually the question is around the windows function right I mean rank uh, dense rank right max all those things or it is ab about the aggregate function right so uh, aggregate function like sum count and things like that right so try and frame what they're asking for right I mean try and frame it in your mind like what will go in select clause is there any filtering required is there um, any summation required, right? So things like that. So here it is very clear that they want us to do a group by, by category and purpose, right? And having the lowest mile driven, right? So lowest mile means what? You need to find out the miles. But then you need to look at when they say to lowest mile driven, right? So if you see this, uh, right? And within business meeting has occurred two times, correct? So you'll have to sum it up, correct? to get to this purpose because they are not saying for each trip. Remember that the question is not about each trip. Question is about each purpose, correct? They are not even telling you the date. So basically you need to sum up the meeting, right? So then immediately it should click to your mind that we have to sum up the miles, right? So that's where the sum function will come into picture, correct? And then they are saying lowest mile driven. Lowest means what? You need to find the lowest value of the miles, 
after doing a total right after you do the total you have to do the lowest mile right so if you see this business category what is the lowest 21.5 is not lowest 5 is lowest you have anything below 5 no but then you have 2 5 right you have meal and you have business lunch so both are both are actually same. I mean, actually same as in two different purpose, but miles driven is same, right? So that means both should be displayed, right? Because you, I mean, you can't just display one, right? You need to display both, right? So, and, and, and within the personal category, if you see, you have 12 and five and three, you have three also. Do you have three anywhere else? No, you have four, four, so three, so movie. So in personal category, only one will come, but in the business category, two will come, right? So how to find this out, right? I mean, lowest mile. So basically, uh, uh, you need to use a rank function, right? You can use a rank function with rank, you know, it will display uh, the, so rank one, two, three, right? It assigns the rank, correct? So rank function, what it does is based on how you define the rank function, it'll, it'll give a rank one, two, three, four, right? So let's let's look at that so basically we need to form a sub query in this right so if you if you see this query first of all we are doing select category select purpose and then sum of miles right we need to sum up the miles right total miles then we are doing rank rank over partition by right so you are saying give me the rank over partition by what category because within each category you need to find out right within each category you need to find out correct so you need to partition by category and order by sum of miles right sum of miles and since you don't describe anything here it takes it at, at a lowest value if you do descending it will get the highest value right and we'll look at that but let's keep it like this so and then from taxi right group by category and purpose right so when you use a sum function you need to use a group by category and purpose so let's look at this data what it is bringing right so if you see this it is assigning the rank one to both correct because it's a lowest you're ascending correct then you have three so in, in case of rank it will skip the rank right because you have two rows here but here we are concerned about only first right lowest mile so you don't need to worry about the other ranks within personal you have three one as a rank one two three four right so since we define partition by you need to this is very important okay because this rank function will work without partition by also okay you can just say rank over order by some miles right so but it will not then what it will do it will find the lowest one so it, if you do that it will just give you movie because then you are not asking it to categorize by cat, uh, basically group by category right? cat, like partition by category right so this is very important clause partition by category that's what they are asking within each category correct so if you see this this two will come and this will come so what we need to do we just need to take this query subquery and say where rank is equal to one correct so what you need to do, you need to define this as a table, give it a name as X and then find out category, purpose and total miles, right? Where rank is equal to one. Okay, so this is the answer, which is what we're looking for. Now you will say, why can't you just do group from and then here define, right? Where rank is equal to one. That's, that's not possible, okay? Because, you know, the rank they, it is ranking the data based upon like basically so it's a window function requires an over clause okay so you can't do this you can't write it within that so because what rank function does is it takes each rows just remember that it rank applies on each of the rows okay and then once you have this rank defined then you can go outside of that you can treat it as a table and say give me the Give me where rank is equal to one. Okay, so I know that many people have asked this question in the past that why can't we use rank in the um, in, in in this query, right? But it's not possible. It's it's not allowed. You need to define this as a as a subquery as a table, and then you need to say where x is equal to, dot rank is equal to one. So it's good that you guys are asking the questions, right? I mean, you know, uh, that kind of, you know, clear up the thought process, right? And you can try this, right? I mean, you know, this data is will be available to you. It's already available if you've seen my other three videos. So you can, you can try and you can see that why it's not working, right? So that's why you have to define this as a subquery, treat it as a table, give it a name X and then define X equal to rank equal to one, okay? So here, if you see, right, I was saying, like, let's say the question is, Give me the highest miles driven, right? So then what you will say? Descending. So when you do descending, it will give you the highest data and it will assign the rank. So if you see, it has assigned the highest 
91.6 and 31, right? So moment you do that, it will do 91.6 and 31, correct? So uh, it it just uh, it's just a requirement, right? I mean, you know. So basically, uh, this is the answer that we are looking for because they ask for the lowest mile, but you can play around with this query, right? Like, what if they asked high, highest uh, uh, miles driven? Then you can put just descending. What if they ask for, uh, you know, um, give me the total, uh, give me the, uh, give me the basically top two, right? I mean, top three. Then you can say rank one, two, three, right? You can do like that. So, uh, you know, it's there are various uh, ways the questions can be asked. So, uh, you know, uh, just practice it. I would say, and first. The important part is read the question properly. Uh, divide that question in like select clause, from clause, which functions which needs to be used, filter filter condition. Will you need to use subquery? Because if you are using rank, you need to use a subquery. So once you frame that in your mind and you look at the data, it becomes very clear because data that is already always given in interview question, right? It's not thousands of rows of record. It will be like 10, 20 records, you know, not more than that. So you can easily figure out from those records what will be the answer. Right, so just just follow that path. So I would say, you know, uh, this is very important uh, uh, question, right? And this can be asked in uh, senior BIE, BIE, data engineers in a data engineer interview questions, right? Uh, because it covers many concepts. It covers the concept of subquery. It covers the concept of sum, which is aggregate function. It covers the concept of rank, which is which is Windows function. Covers the filtering criteria, right? It covers the group by. So definitely, you know, this is this kind of questions can be can be asked. The chances are very high. Okay, so uh, you know, I would say just look at the data, practice it on your own, right? Uh, change this question a little bit, and then try and write the query on your own. That way, you know, you will understand it very very deeply or very thoroughly. You know that uh, uh, how you can solve this kind of questions, right? All right, guys, this that was it for today. Uh, thank you very much.